Hello everybody, SP Slayer here, and welcome to another mod showcase. Now today, we're doing a FNAF mod. We're doing THE FNAF mod, to be exact. Literally, the the mod that literally just called itself THE FNAF mod. <laughs> yeah, the one with the cool animated characters and all that. Like, if we're looking here, we got Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica in there. I just stumbled upon the structure while I was setting up. So I decided, why the hell not start it here? So... This is a pretty large update, but it's a lot of, like, building blocks and stuff like that. Uh, there is an entire dimension, uh, which we will get to, but I wanted to show the structures that were added first and updated, because there is an updated one. So, we're going to start structures first, and then we're going, going to go into the dimension, which is the FNAF World Dimension, which is honestly very cool. Love things and things acknowledging FNAF World's existence. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's not much flat ground around here, annoyingly. So I'm just gonna put this on top of this fucking tree over here. Because why the hell not? And, uh... Say hello to the diner. This is the diner when it is open. So this is Fredbear's Fredbear and Friends. I don't think... Well, I guess that's the name of the TV show. I don't think that was the name of the diner, though. So, yeah, we have the diner. And as you can see, they made custom versions of the unwithered animatronics. Honestly, it looks very cool. I love that there's, like, those spotlight things. You can even put a music disc here. There's no music disc there right now. Uh, but it does exist. There's also no sound. In spite of you guys apparently not getting any sound this second. <laughs> I don't know why the hell that's happening. But uh, there you go. Now you're getting sound. There we go. Uh, But yeah. As you can see there's like a security office back here. With. He's here. He's there. He's everywhere. Who you gonna call? Second friend Fred Bear. <laughs> God, that's still such a nice song. <laughs> that Matt Pat made. Uh, this is Prize Corner. There is another batch of animatronics somewhere, I think. There are... Oh, there's Plush Trap. An intact version of Plush Trap. Yeah, Plush Trap toy. Ah, here it is. Yeah, um... There's Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie. They exist. Also, I forgot to time set. I'm gonna time set before these things start getting aggressive and moving around. Uh, but yeah, as you go back here, there's... I didn't actually know Fredbear was there. I saw Spring Bonnie before, but I didn't actually look up and see Fredbear. So apparently this is after the Bite of 83. <laughs> didn't realize that that would be a thing. But I'm guessing this is the suit William uses then, and that's the... These two are the other ones. The spares. So yeah, then we have, like, if you go back here, there's... No way to get through this door, actually. Why is there no way to get through this door? I'm just gonna punch it. But yeah, then we have, like, the little kitchen, where you can, like, order and get your meals. We have the toilets... And there is a secret I discovered. Well, first off, I can turn off all the lights in the building if I want to. I really don't want to. But then there's also this area. Which, there we go. You really gotta fiddle with that door. But once you go through this vent, you access this weird hidden closet. That I'm not entirely sure. I think this is supposed to be the safe room. But take taken really, really literally. The face there is just behind the price counter. But yeah, there's secret room in the, in the diner. But that is not all. There's also the abandoned diner. Now the abandoned diner is the same building, but well, abandoned. Pretty obvious. <laughs> 
So yeah, this is the band, the diner after it's been abandoned. Friends. Clever. <laughs> Clever use of the signage. As you can see, the windows are smashed. I see spring trap, and after the bite, Fred Bear. Spring Bonnie's cut out is no longer on the wall. It's now down here. Ah, uh, we got fucking plush trap just chilling. We have the withereds all sitting here on the stage. We have the security office having a fucking hole in the wall. What the hell? I guess this used to be a window, wasn't it? There, we've got collapsed walls. That hidden room is fully exposed now. The vent has collapsed. The generator room is completely exposed. I wonder if the lights even work. Take that as a no. And yeah, now lights don't work. So yeah, there's no real way of turning the lights on, so that's interesting. Uh, a bunch of plushies that apparently got left behind. Interestingly. Also, the two animatronics that were in here are no longer in here. Weird. Is that implying that the two that were working on the stage got taken out? I don't know, maybe it was an oversight that they were in that room to begin with. But yeah, abandoned Fred Bears. Now, the next one is just called Afton. And this one is just the Afton house. This one's kind of cool. The For one, it's fucking massive. Like, Jesus Christ. How much money is he making? We got plush traps sitting on the floor down here. I don't think he's supposed to be down here. We got plushies everywhere. I'm pretty sure these are the ones that might be able to become the nightmares. I'm not sure. I think a lot of the entities spawned in before the structure could spawn in, though. <coughs> because this is not the way it looked when I was testing it. Oh, there's a fucking door into the closet from the outside. What the hell? There's a few things that seem to have fallen through the floor, but other than that, this is pretty similar. Oh, so this is Crying Child's normal room. This is the room you're in when he locks you in here and you're crying and fall over. But then this room, this room is the actual, like, knight's room. Because I'm pretty sure this is Michael's room. Because I honestly don't think you're playing as Crying Child in FNAF 4. I think I think you're playing as Michael. And you're being tortured by William for what you did. Which honestly, still makes sense with everything, obviously. <laughs> so this is William's room, apparently. And this is the arcade machine. We're not going to interact with that, because that will send us somewhere. Uh, That's actually how we get into the dimension. So we're just not going to interact with that right now. We're going to see all the structures and then interact with it. But yeah, then we have the daughter's room. Emily. Or Elizabeth, rather. Wrong name. Uh, then we have... I like how you put Nightmare BB in here. This would be the plush trap hallway. So technically Nightmare BB is here. But also a plush trap supposed to be here. Uh, but then we have, uh, I don't think anything actually, or is there any hidden room in here that I haven't seen? There's a weird hole down below. Don't know why the hell that's there. Uh, I'm not seeing any hidden areas. Yeah, no, surprisingly there are no hidden areas in the Afton house. Not even a hidden attic. It's all redstone. 
closets. Yeah, no, no hidden. No hidden things, surprisingly. But yeah, then we have the workshop. Which I'm not entirely sure what the hell that is. I hope it's not the, like, workshop that was already in the mod. Oh, it's the Acton House, but abandoned. What? Put on the workshop, right? Hold on, is this... Is this the same building? Did I just actually put down the same building? I really hope not. I think I just actually put down the same building. Okay, workshop. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the workshop. I made 100% sure it was the workshop. What do you mean? Hold on, what? <laughs> this is the same building. Did they mess something up in their building code? I remember this was one that I saved because I want to know what the fuck it was. I know it's going to be stupid, but I'm going to try spawning it one more time. Just to make sure I'm not stupid. No, I'm not stupid. That, that's the workshop, apparently. Afton and Workshop are spawning the same fucking structure. Don't know why. But yeah, then we have Silver Fredbears. If I'm thinking correctly, it is, yep. Fredbears from the Silver Eyes trilogy. Ah, all the stuff's, like, piled up in the corner. It's completely abandoned. Emptied. Just armor stands back here. Nothing in here. All cobwebs. Because, yeah, the Silver Eyes... In the Silver Eyes stories, Red Bear's closed naturally. It didn't... Didn't suffer the tragic fall that we all know. But then we have the Silver Eyes Pizzeria. Which is fucking massive, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I placed that perfectly. Somehow it's now made the the diner float. <laughs> That's amazing. But yeah, it has a it has the movie sign. Nice. Alright, let me out. But yeah, oh my god, frame rate. Why is my frame rate dying? What happened? I don't know what the fuck happened. Something spawned that's killing my frame rate. I don't know, it's all these custom blocks. But yeah, as you can see, we have the Silver Eyes Pizzeria. Should have... somewhere... There's the carousel. The back area where... The where the fucking weird blue Freddy was. Is this it? Is this supposed to be where it is? Or is this supposed to be where it was? Not 100% sure where the hell it was. In the building? It might have been back here. But yeah, the Silver Eyes books had a very different layout to the Freddy's than we see in game. And it's pretty well created here. It was a weird mix of like FNAF 2 and FNAF 1. The Silver Eyes Pizza. Oh yeah, there's also they also apparently added a ball pit. And it's like you can place it down and it can connect to other ball pit pieces. It's very nice. 
Uh, but yeah, we have a little area here. We have the stage, which frankly, did they add anything underneath? Oh, they did. I was gonna say, yeah, they better have added the little thing where you can, like, go into the stage and there's the control room down there. Because that was a part of the story, was that there was a control room underneath the stage where you controlled the animatronics and everything. It was a cool touch. It was a cool touch to add, like, actual mechanic stuff under the stages. Oh, they added it under both. Nice. Clever, clever. Okay, then we have... Oh, I'm guessing this is, like, Henry's office. Yeah, this would be Henry's office. But yeah, um... They add... I'm trying to figure out what the hell it would be. Maybe it's in here. Actually, yeah, this would be... This would be where the blue suit would be kept, because this is... These are the... Oh, these are the fucking cupboards. And there's even a Golden Freddy poster. Because Golden Freddy does appear in the Silver Eyes. Golden Freddy's weird. Golden Freddy's supposed to be like Charlie's missing sibling. Air quotes, considering if you know the story, you know the story. But yeah, uh... After Silver Eyes Pizzeria, there's Charlie's house. So yeah, this would be... This would be Henry Emily's house. And the Silver Eyes. This is the Silver Eyes version. He's got, like, Fred Bear's posters. Got a bathroom back here. We got... That table is probably the table where he did what he did. Here's the... The shed, I guess, would be the... What this is? It's, it's just a garage. But they refer to it as, like, a shed, a workshop. Her dad's workshop. Not lag. Okay. But yeah, then we have... This room, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be... I don't know. The sibling's room? Even though the sibling doesn't exist. Or whatever. And then we have... Charlie's room with the three closets, the fourth one being elsewhere in the basement. Actually, I wonder if they added any reference to the fourth closet at all. Because there's no basement. I'm guessing this would be the reference to the fourth closet. And I'm not seeing any references to the fourth closet. Even existing. Okay, missed detail. You're missing the fourth closet. Unless that one closet is supposed to be the fourth closet. Just inactive. But yeah, then we have Silver Fredbear's normal. So this is the Fredbear's when it was still active. The Fredbear's we checked out over there. So yeah, this is Silver Eyes Fredbear. As you can see, Silver Eyes took a very different turn than what we imagine Fred Bears as. I mean, I personally imagine it as something like this, but most people, for some reason, imagine it much bigger. But no, it's just tiny in this one. And in Silver Eyes, we even see it, it's tiny. It was just a small building that they opened up. Out of order, Foxy. Fair. Yeah, it's got all the, all the original characters. Fred Bear, Bonnie... All of them. All of them. And then we have Freddy and Friends arcade cabinets. Nice. But yeah, that is all of them, including the one that apparently doesn't want to work. Uh, but that is not all for this showcase. Let me just go over to William's house. Or, I guess, the workshop, as it seems to want to call itself. Look at Spectator. We'll slowly glitch our way through. God, I really should have installed some frame rate mods. Uh, I forgot how memory leaky Minecraft can be. 
But if I right click on this, it will take us to an entirely new dimension that has just been added this update. And we'll get to see FNAF World. Oh. Oh yeah, and the music starts. It literally starts playing the FNAF World music. It's nice. So yeah, we are in, I think we're in the Fazbear Hills. No, we're in choppy woods. Oh yeah, that's the logs. So yeah, this is the choppy woods. Nice so far, nice so far. But yeah, if I look around, there are adventure animatronics that apparently spawn. Also, if I push R, apparently you can select a party member. So I'm going to go and give myself... I'm going to give myself armor. And a weapon and a shield. Because I want to know... If this works. What the fuck's the shield? There's the shield. Game mode. Survival. I have no one. I'm gonna kill Freddy here. That's supposed to give me... It's supposed to give me Freddy, but I'm not getting Freddy for some reason? Is he broken? You're supposed to get the characters by doing something with them. Hold on. Let me just double check real quick to make sure I'm not doing this stupidly. Uh, adventure party items. Yeah, you're supposed to get adventure party items. Yeah, they're supposed to drop them, but they're not dropping them for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think that's correctly coded. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's just not working. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, but I could just look up what the hell an adventure party item is. Hold on. Okay, uh, let me just... I don't know where the hell on it... What would be an adventure party item? I don't know what the hell would be an adventure party item. Good. I've looked up Adven Yeah, we have Adventure Nightmare Fredbear, Adventure Springtrap, Adventure Adventure Wither Chica, Adventure Mangle, Adventure Freddy, and Adventure Lulbit. Those exist, but there's no there, there doesn't seem to be a way to get them in your party. What the hell? Do I have to do something else with them, maybe? Oh, there's... Oh. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. It changes the music based on the biome. It's just playing in ambient. That's clever. Alright. So, yeah, this is the tombstone area. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, Tombstone, Tomb Yard. Oh, that's smooth. That is smooth change. Is this dusting fields? Woodlands Lake? What? Hold on. Woodlands Lake. <laughs> that is what this is. I see. Very confusing. But yeah, apparently the adventure characters aren't working or something. But yeah, it is in here. It, it is It is here. Uh, it seems that it's going to have some kind of functionality with this. We can, like, select party. 
Maybe they're gonna let you turn into the FNAF world characters and fight. I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, so, bug found. Uh, so... I'm pretty sure that's about it, other than, like, the biomes in this, but they're all kind of the same. Uh, so, yeah, that, that, is, that is, uh, that is about it. So, yeah, uh, I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you should join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't shoot the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. And we go, see you in this video, live stream, and next. Peace, guys!